Uh, we know that entrepreneurs in Africa are finding it quite difficult to create uh, some kind of network for themselves, but that is changing quite rapidly, and you are offering an incredible platform. That, that's the mission of uh, Enablis, uh, who have been starting in South Africa, but now is very present in East Africa. And uh, that's uh, what we plan to do, is to really give a platform by which we can develop the entrepreneurs, not uh, on the, only on the financial point of view, but on the personal point of view, to become uh, better employers and also create jobs in the region. Mm. And I think one of the big things is, of course, credit lines, which have started to loosen uh, quite extensively in Africa. We know that two billion uh, Tanzanian shillings has been offered to your members. Apart from that, 200 million uh, shillings has been offered to members in Kenya. So you are offering yeah. financial support at this stage. Yeah, it's, uh, with an alliance uh, with uh, Chase Bank in Kenya, uh, we have built a financing program for our members, Enablist member, limited to our member. You need to be an Enablist member to have access to that financing. And uh, today we were very glad to announce our first financing using that uh, facility out of Chase Bank. Mm. Well, just give us an indication of how the loan structure works, because obviously uh, you as a company are going to be giving some kind of guarantee to the people that are funding uh, this financing. Yes, exactly. We, 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 we provide a 50% guarantee uh, of the loan and the bank, Chase Bank, uh, provide the full loan. So the bank is taking a 50% risk uh, on, uh, on the entrepreneur and uh, we're taking the other 50%. And this is how we have organized the financing to our members. Mm. Well, just looking at what it takes to be a member of your company and, of course, to be able to uh, benefit from these uh, programs that you are putting in place, what, is the kind of costs, uh, what are the costs that are involved? in being a member of your network? Well, the, the cost to be a member of our network is minimal because uh, mm -hmm. Enablis is a non-profit organization who have been sponsored mainly by the Canadian government uh, since its inception and a large corporation like Accenture and Microsoft uh, and our own uh, family company. But uh, the, the concept is to be able to take on entrepreneurs into our organization, become a member, and when they become a member, they, enter, uh, they, they, they get entertained into a, a development program. We include networking, include capacity building, and include also financing. Right, you said that you take 50% of the risk on. Give us some insights into uh, the kind of demand that you've been seeing on the ground. I mean, where is it coming from? Is it predominantly in the agricultural sector? What kind of businesses are asking for financing? No, it's, uh, it's widely spread. Uh, uh, our membership base in East Africa is now exceeding 370 members. Across Africa, we're more than 1,000 members at this moment. Uh, and uh, it's uh, fairly spread across agriculture, tourist industry, small manufacturing industry, ICT sector. It's spread of all, uh, across all sectors of the economy. Mm. Uh, just looking at the fact that you've teamed up with uh, various governments in Africa, of course, and you mentioned the Canadian government as well, uh, what kind of uptake have you been seeing and, and what kind of assistance have you been seeing from the governments in Africa? Well, uh, we have received a strong reception from uh, all the government in which uh, we have been present. As I said, we have a presence in uh, South Africa where the South African government through Kula have been a very major sponsor to enable this. And, uh, we are also in East Africa have a presence in uh, uh, Kenya, but also in Tanzania. And tomorrow, uh, we I'm flying to Rwanda where we will open an enablist house and an enablist mm -hmm. chapter into that country. And in every country that we have been present, and also we are present in Ghana, we have received a very strong support, uh, not only support in helping in some resources and facilitating the implementation of enablers, but in certain cases, financial support where they invest their money with us, with our entrepreneurs. Mm. So you're obviously gaining quite a lot of traction, and of course, uh, your projects are doing relatively well. You're sitting with a thousand members right now. What is your target by the end of this year? But by the end of this year, uh, the African region should uh, lead us to about 1,500 members. Our goal is to obtain about 3,000 members into uh, the sub saharan African region and uh, continue to expand in West Africa and, as I said, in East Africa uh, and also in the southern part uh, of the continent. So uh, our goal will be to, let's say, in, uh, four years time rate frame to have about 3,000 to 4,000 members and uh, these members will create jobs 
Uh, we make survey and each one of our members are creating close to nine to ten jobs per year. Mm -hmm. So if you look at that, uh, it's a very powerful tool to create wealth and reduce poverty in emerging mm -hmm. countries. Charles, how much are you planning to invest in Enablers uh, Entrepreneurial Network, apart from the networking uh, you know, strategies that you have been putting in place? We're talking about this, this two billion shillings and of course the 200 million shillings that have come through as well in Tanzania and Kenya. But what kind of money are you planning to filter through into the ground? Our plan is over the next uh, five years, uh, we are currently putting in place line of credit that we expect to be five, uh, 50 million dollar US in total for the continent and using that 50 million dollar US uh, or Canadian in today is a no yeah. big difference. Uh, uh, so using that to take, create alliance with local banks by which we can guarantee 50 percent uh, of the line of credit will be open. So down the road we will be able to offer up to a hundred million dollars of financing to our membership community across Africa.